Hello everybody, today I would like to talk about using the zebra analysis tools to analyze the surface continuity of uh, two adjacent surfaces. Okay, basically the zebra tool is able to analyze three levels of uh, surface continuity. They are namely position, G0, tangency, G1, and curvature, G2. Okay, as this is a fairly basic tutorial, if you are an advanced user, you might want to give this uh, video tutorial a miss. Also, this tutorial is of relevance to users of other nubs based CAD packages such as Alias and Solid Thinking as well. Okay, let's go on to the Rhino environment. Okay, basically, I want to review this to degree 3 and set the point count to 4, 4. You can make a duplicate. Give it a little bit of curvature over here. Gonna make two more sets. Okay, now let's go to the surface tools, the match surface command to do our first match. Okay, edge to match tool. Okay, as you can see, there are three levels of continuity position, tangent, and curvature. Let's set it to position. Let's go to Analyze, Surface, Zebra. Okay, as you can see, this is the display for matching to position. There are no relationship between the two sets of surfaces whatsoever. Okay, basically they are not aligned to one another, as you can see from the display. Okay, this denote that this kind of matching is at best uh, set to position. Let's do another matching and set this to tangency. Let's analyze using zebra again. As you can see, there are some kind of relationship between the two sets of zebra stripes. Basically, their ends are meeting up. However, the flow of the zebra stripes are not aligned. Basically, there is a change of the direction of flow. Let's do another matching. This time, set the match to curvature. Okay, now you can see that the two surfaces, they are flowing and matching up nicely. Basically, you might not even be able to tell uh, where the end starts and where the, the other end uh, begins. So, uh, this is how a curvature match should look like. Okay, so basically these are the three zebra display for the respective uh, level of uh, surface continuity smoothness. Okay, that's all for the tutorial. I hope that it has been useful to you. See you around.